Hi everyone, scrolling along with Susan here again. So we have in front of us the completed scroll saw pattern from a portrait. And I wanted to show you what I've done. Let's start here with the original photo behind us. And put it at about half so you can see what I've added and what I've subtracted. There were some lines down here that were white and not connected. I just removed those and I added a little bit of her hair in white here on the sides. That way this part of her face is connected with all of the white parts. Remember we're cutting out the black so the white parts all need to be connected. That gives her face on this side a little bit more um, stability and structure to the wood. Let me go into 100% here. I have made sure that all of her hair on this side, all of the white, they're all connected in various ways. So when it comes to her face, we have the top part of her hair, the side here, down here by her, um, under here, her ear, and down here by the chin. All of these are connected out to the white part um, of the wood out here. I added a little bit of an ear structure that wasn't there before. Fixed her shirt to be a little bit more solid and basically just cleaned up all the little black flecks and white flecks that did not belong. And this is pretty much my finished portrait. I'm going to go pop down here and click on to where it says PX and I want to switch it to inches just so I make sure I know what size I'm going to be working with. So this is 11 and a half by basically 10 and a half. Now when I print this out, I really don't want to waste that much black ink. I'd like to save a little bit of, of my ink. So I'm going to go up here to colors, clicking on colors, going down to levels, and on the output level section, I'm going to Put it at about half. Let's see, it's not cooperating. Come on. Okay, let's do this. There we go. So when I print it out to cut it, it's gray and white and it will use less black ink. So I'm going to click OK. I will be saving that and we'll continue on with the next step. Okay, it may not be necessary for me to show you this, but I wanted to show you the steps that I was taking. I looked at this picture and I decided that I really wanted it to be a little bit larger. So in order to um, enlarge the photo, I'm going to be going up to Image, Scale Image, and I'm in inches, so it was 11, roughly 11 and a half by 10 and a half. So I'm going to bring it up to closer to 16, 15 and a half. I can go there or go to 16 and a half by 14, almost 15. I think I'll go down a little step. It's, it's best to keep the actual, the, the other small numbers here. Like if I put in 15 by 14, it could distort all of the work that you just did. So make sure you keep the image size, width and height equal to each other. So I'm going to keep it there, going to scale it, going to save it. Now I've already done this, so I don't want to redo that. After I save it, I'm going to export as, and I want it to be a PNG. And I put everything in my scroll saw pick, so I'll add that. And photo scroll saw pattern. And you would export it at this point. And the reason I exported it is because I use another program in order to print it properly. I actually use paint. Uh, it works better with my printer. And I can coordinate what I want to do better with that. But you choose however you wish to print it out. Make sure when you print it, you do not fit to scale. Make sure you use the 100% size 
or it's going to shrink and put it on a small eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And then we'll continue with the next step. I've cut a piece of 17 by 17 inch quarter inch Baltic birch plywood and sanded it well. Then I took my picture that printed out on four pieces of paper, taped them together, and positioned them on my board to see how it looked. So here I am spraying the back of the picture that I printed out, and I'm going to be attaching it to my board. Take your time with this. Make sure that it's very accurate, because once it's on, it's on. Now I'm using a 1 16th inch drill bit to drill all of my pilot holes so that I can take it over to the scroll saw for the next step. A couple of things I wanted to show you on my portrait that I'm cutting out. I'm using a number three Pegasus reverse tooth blade and a lot of people use spiral blades for the work and I have used spiral blades before but there's so much cleanup on the back of the portrait. This is much cleaner and any larger of a portrait than this I would have to use a spiral blade but I can pretty much do everything on a straight blade. I've already cut out the eyes, nose, and mouth and I've put back in pieces that I've already cut out and taped them front and back to give the delicate pieces more support while I'm cutting out the rest of the portrait. Reminder, you have to be extremely accurate on the eyes, nose, and mouth because if you don't, you will not have the likeness of the person. So make sure you are taking your time and you're doing everything accurate on that. When you come to the hair and the clothing, you can be a little bit more flexible. You don't have to be exact. Now, I can do a sharp turn here, but I'm going to back up on this. And cut the other side and move it that way. I am supporting the board with my right hand and turning it and pivoting it with my left, also offering support on the corner. Well, let's see, I gotta go back here and fix this up a little bit more. There we go. I'm here at my last video that will complete this scroll saw portrait. And I have it cut out and sanded and stained and framed. Let me go through each detail here. After I cut out everything, I used a heat tool to remove the pattern. And then I used mineral spirits to lightly go over to get rid of any sticky sticky residue that was on there. Then I lightly sanded it and I stained it with, I like Danish oil, so I used natural Danish oil so that it would have the natural color. I really like that. And then I cut out my own frame because it was a specific size and I couldn't find a frame to fit it, so I made my own out of pine. I thought it turned out pretty well. And then I stained that with Danish oil dark walnut. The backing I have on this, I was thinking about doing an eighth inch Baltic birch backing and painting it black, but I decided to go with the black felt. And I think it turned out really nice. Thanks for joining me on my scroll saw portrait videos. I hope that you have gained some knowledge here and some excitement on maybe making your own portrait. My name is Susan. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.